Welcome to the Vaughn Hanshaw broadcast. This is your evangelist, Brother Vaughn Hanshaw. Our scripture for today's message is found in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. Paul is instructing the young minister Timothy on what to do as a preacher, and Paul tells Timothy this. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This commandment is not only for preachers, but it is also for every born-again believer. We will notice several things here in this passage. Number one, we are to study God's word. Number two, we are not approved by God until we do study. Number three, serving Christ is a work, and it requires effort, time, energy, and commitment. The Greek word for study here means to make a diligent effort, to work hard in your studies, to make it your business and your top priority to study the Word of God. Why? So that you can rightly divide, that Greek word there is orthotomeo, rightly divide the Bible, the Word of Truth, which means to make a straight cut, to dissect, to accurately explain, to correctly interpret and teach the Bible. Here is the problem in the modern-day church. Some preachers believe it is wrong to study the Bible and to write notes out for a sermon. Every sermon and teaching that I do, I have a notebook right in front of me, and it is not wrong to do that. As a matter of fact, it's good to do that because the Lord may want me to teach this again at some other place. Some preachers say, oh, Brother Vaughn, I just follow the Spirit. No, you don't follow the Spirit. You're not following the Spirit. That's why you keep repeating yourself when you get up and attempt to preach, because you don't have any guidelines and any notes to follow. If you were following the Holy Ghost, then you would study and write your sermons out as God gives them to you. How many times have I went into these backwoods, hillbilly churches, and nobody's up there with a note, and before about 10 or 15 minutes, that so-called preacher's up there repeating himself, and he loses the entire audience, and maybe somebody might by chance get saved or helped in that so-called excuse for a church. Then some preachers go off to some denominational Bible college and uh, get a degree in their theology. But the problem with this is this. That denomination puts their own twist on what you're studying. Pentecostal Bible colleges, for example, teach that the nine temporary gifts of the Holy Spirit are still active today, and that's false teaching. Southern Baptist Bible Colleges teach the once saved, always saved, limited atonement, eternal security, false doctrines, and those are wrong, false teachings. They all corrupt, pervert, and twist God's word to make it say what they want it to say. And now we have an entire nation and generation of biblically illiterate pastors, evangelists, and Christians. They do not know the true fundamental orthodox Christian doctrines transmitted down to us through the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Council. They do not know the Greek, the Hebrew, or the Aramaic languages that the Bible manuscripts were originally written in. They do not know how to read, study, or preach the Bible in context according to the manners and the customs of the day that the Bible was written in. They do not know the principles of hermeneutics and homiletics and exegesis when studying and teaching the Bible. And now we have an epidemic of biblical illiteracy in the body of Christ. I had a pastor of an Assemblies of God church email me a few days ago saying, I'm not biblically, biblically illiterate, Brother Vaughn, and I am offended that you say I am. I have a doctorate degree from Southwestern Assemblies of God Seminary. Let me tell you something, friend. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to you, but that degree that you have is not worth the paper it was printed on because that seminary teaches false doctrines, so any degree from that place is worthless to you and worthless to the body of Christ. 
My prayer is that God will raise up a remnant of people who will truly love him, serve him, and glorify him, who will study the word of God the way it is supposed to be studied so that they can know the truth, live the truth, and share the gospel truth with this world. I'm out of time. Thank you for joining with me today on our program. Please be sure to tell your family and friends to tune in to us on Facebook and YouTube. Until next time, may God richly bless you is my sincere prayer.